What's up everybody? I'm Jen from Valley Buzzsaw. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I used the Gianni countertop paint kit to get this faux granite finish on an old, tired, worn out melamine desk. So if you want to see the process for how I got this gorgeous finish on top of a melamine desk, oh and by the way, how it's lasted now for over eight years, then just keep watching. The desk I'm refinishing in today's video started its life as a basic melamine desk over particle board. I got it back in about 2007, I, I don't know, it's been a while, but I did get it from Ikea. And after it lived its life looking like this for about four years, I decided it was time to give the old girl a facelift. So I bought two of the Gianni countertop paint kits in chocolate brown and in Sicilian sand and decided to go with Sicilian sand for the desk. I taped off and sanded the surface using a 150 grit sanding block, which I did that by hand. After I thoroughly wiped it down and checked to make sure that the sheen was completely dull, I pulled out their iron core black primer, the one that comes in the Gianni kit. As you can see here, I also started out by practicing on a sample board. And I like to use large plastic sheets, then cut them down into four pieces so that I can test the finish before I just apply it to the furniture piece. For the primer though, um, I just went for it on both things, the sample board and the desk, and it turned out really, really solid and smooth. There weren't any raised bumps, so once it fully cured, and you can follow those simple instructions that come in the kit. Um, anyway, once it was cured, it was time to apply the finish. Hey everybody, pardon the interruption, but I wanted to break in here for two reasons. First, I just wanted to point out that this video is not sponsored. I paid for these kits with my own money. I did so many, many years ago, and there's no affiliated code, there's no link, there's no sponsorship. I just really, really like Gianni's product. Second, I have kind of a couple of really big tips for anyone who's trying to take this on as a DIY project. The first thing you definitely want to make sure you do, cut up the sponge. It comes in a big round and your best plan of attack is to cut it into three or four pieces. They can be equal or they can be a little bit off. That's not really a big deal, but you want to cut up the sponge for a very particular reason because you're going to need to vary the position of your hand as well as the sponge and the colors while you're applying the product. So for example, what I mean, if you take the sponge and it's in your hand like this, don't continue to pounce like this onto the surface you're going to want to turn your hand a little bit if that makes any sense <laughs> in various ways um, that's going to just help to add to the dimension and the depth and make the stone feel a lot more natural the reason why you cut up the sponge into multiple pieces is because you want to lay out the color in trays next to where you're doing this project as individual colors just a little bit of it in maybe a plastic plate or a paint tray if you have a lot of those then you'll take each one of those sections of sponge and use it in different colors so when you first start applying the the application process will be easy you'll take that first sponge that first color and just dub 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 all over the place very 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 <laughs> um, once you get that done, you'll go in with the second color, but you may find that there are places once you go in with the second and third color where it just doesn't feel as natural or it's over saturated with one of those colors. Go back to the first color then with that sponge that only has that color on it and daub a little bit in. You just want to kind of vary it, make it feel very loose because it's actually a natural product. So it can have all kinds of variation. You just don't want it to have a very distinct, pattern based on the shape of your sponge. That's going to make it obvious that it's not actually granite. Anyway, I hope that tip is very helpful for you guys and now let's get back to the desk. I started the finish based on those techniques that I talked about in the last little clip here in the video and after about an hour I had a finish that I was so so happy with. I waited for it to cure and then the only step left was to coat it in Gianni's high gloss top coat. That stuff is amazing. It rolls on almost like an epoxy. It's thinner than an epoxy and it is definitely a top coat, but I could paint the edges of this desk without any taping off or masking. It just sort of held itself in place. It was beautiful. I rolled on one coat, I let it cure, 
and then I lightly sanded with a 220 grit sandpaper just to knock off anything that might have been in the roller, little hairs or dust in the air. Once I wiped it down thoroughly, I applied the final coat of top coat and the surface at the end there when it was cured was like glass on calm water. It looked just like stone. I was just blown away. I loved it. Um, and after that, I knew that the faux maple base really had to go, so I broke out my Benjamin Moore paint, gave it a coat of primer and two coats of a flat finished chocolate brown, and then that was it. Finished desk transformation complete. Well, you're probably wondering where this desk is today. So let's head on over to the garage and we will find out. So first of all, don't mind our completely disgusting and messy garage. This whole wall is gonna become part of a good project that we've got going on. But right now I at least wanted to just point out that this desk has been living out here for maybe the past three years in the garage as a place to just store random stuff like you can see we've got some holiday decorations and some other crazy amounts of crap on here we've got you know the bucket Oops, sorry about that lighting there we've got the bucket with all of our smaller handheld kind of tools down there that usually lives over there on that shelf but we've got our little camping mattress over there we've got a box full of just you know random crap but even though you can't see the whole thing yet, and I will be pulling this inside the house so you'll get a way better understanding of what it actually looks like right now on top, there's like nary a scratch on this thing. It is amazing. I'm not going to say that it's going to be the best finish in the world and it's not going to last forever, and certainly it is a temporary solution. But this temporary solution has been going for us for about eight years, so... I can't complain about that. I'm pretty happy with how this is, uh, you know, holding up over time. But give me a minute. I'll pull this thing inside, get all this stuff cleaned off the top of it, and then pull this desk inside and give you a real, real, real up-close view of exactly what it looks like today. Hey, everybody. Okay, so as promised, here we are with the desk back in the house. Uh, you can get a real full picture on what this thing looks like now from inside. The top is so shiny. That is the almost impenetrable top coat that Gianni uses in their kits. Uh, that stuff is incredible. This thing is held up so great. I can barely even express how excited I am about that, especially bringing you this video today. I was really, really hopeful that it wouldn't look all scarred and scratched up. I wanted it to look beautiful because that's the thing with a temporary top coat. You know it's not going to last forever, but you want it to last a decent amount of time. Well, I did this eight years ago, and I really just wanted something simple and clean. We also used this basically in the exact same spot it is right now in our kitchen for the first like five years or so that we moved into the house because our kitchen was tiny it was a disaster we needed extra storage that video is coming up pretty soon so don't forget to subscribe that way you'll be notified when that video goes up but we use this as extra storage and sort of like a little mini bar area. So we weren't entirely gentle with this thing. It's not like it lived in an office and just had a laptop on it. We had cutting boards on this thing. We had alcohol bottles on this thing. We used it for the last three years in the garage as just crap storage for the seasonal items like you saw in that last clip and just a whole bunch of stuff. So... With that said, you would think that it's a destroyed disaster of a mess, but it's not. And I'm going to show you the one place, if you'll pardon the uh, shakiness of this tripod, I'm going to show you the one place where it's kind of jacked up right now. If you can see it, you can see it. So right here, there's a slice. That did actually you know, break through the finish and got down to the desktop. But other than that one little tiny area of mar, this desk is in perfect condition still. And like I said, considering it's been living in our garage for the last three years, to me, that is like uber impressive. If you've made it this far into the video, I just wanted to thank you for sticking with me. 
And I wanted to give you some bonus footage of other projects that I completed using these Gianni Granite countertop paint kits. Because this stuff isn't just good for counters. It's incredible and it looks really cool on just about anything. I'd love to hear what you guys think of any of these projects down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And don't forget that I post a new video every Friday morning at 6 a.m. Arizona time. Thanks so much for watching! Any products, materials, and supplies that we used that are still available will be listed in the description box down below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, that really helps us out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the notification bell, then set it to all so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Then head on over to valley-buzz.com for even more DIY home renovation projects. Now go get out there and take on a DIY project of your own. Later, warriors! Okay, cars, you're the best. Boop, boop. Okay. Sadly, it's first thing in the morning. Let's try that again. There's my foot. As you can see, no, you can't. You can't see anything because I suck at filming. Hey everybody, I just wanted to check in on the, f nope, 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 nope. Mm, no, that's just way too dark over there. But why aren't you changing now? All right, let's move this tripod. I'm going to start this whole thing over again because that is nothing like what I wanted it to actually sound like. So, cut here.